Another area of, of uh, maybe not consciousness literature, but more the, 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 um, the topic of free will, whether we actually have a free will and why do we actually feel that we control our self, um, is a phenomenon which is called the readiness potential, which was discovered back in the 1960s by two Germans. <coughs> and what they did was that they asked subjects uh, to freely press either with the left or right hand uh, on, a, on a button. And what they then looked at was uh, brain activity in areas over the primary visual or the primary motor cortices of either the left or the right hand and then measure the difference between those two signals. And what they actually discovered was that if they at time zero here press the button, you could actually see in this case an uh, increased negative signal that actually starts, you can actually see that it starts to diverge a little away from this uh, case here without the, um, the button press um, up to one second before you actually press <coughs> and uh, depending on which hand you use you can either see that it go comes to one hemisphere or the other hemisphere the signals indicating where you actually are going to press so um, and it's actually most uh, visible here so you can see actually around one second that it starts to diverge away from being zero signal so this in itself is, is probably not so surprising um, but then if you ask subjects well when did you actually feel an urge to move, you can actually see that uh, if you ask subjects about that, they probably feel that maybe two to three hundred milliseconds before they actually do the movement, but the brain activity actually starts even up to a second or one and a half second before they, they do this pressing. So um, it seems that there is a, a divergence between your conscious percept of your own uh, urge to to move and the brain activity that you can report or see uh, in comparison to that. So that has led to the idea that, that we may not, the, the function of consciousness may not be so relevant. It's more like a, maybe an epiphenomenon that, that occurs after the brain has decided to, to perform movements. And that of course questions the concept of free will that we are, um, freely in control of, of what we do and uh, we can actually choose to do one thing or another thing but it seems that at least something in some cases the brain has actually decided long before we become consciously aware of, of having decided to, um, to do the movement. So I think with that I will uh, stop and uh,